Beyond Eyes. Ah yes, Beyond Eyes. It's the only walking simulator I own. Yeah, it's a walking simulator. I'm pretty sure I got it a long time ago for having Xbox Live Gold, but I have it. A walking simulator, which I usually have no interest in because I can watch any walking simulator on YouTube and obtain literally the same experience as playing it. But with this one, I do think it's at least a little bit of a different story. When I say different story, I don't mean by much. You're still slow as fuck like the rest of the walking simulators. There's not even a fast walk button. It's artsy. It's got words on the screen displaying either deep thoughts or fleshes out what's going on. So why do I like this one? Well, there's some actual gameplay here. Beyond Eyes at its core is a maze. Yeah, it's a maze. A slow, slow, slow maze, but a maze nonetheless. If you are a fan of mazes, even slow ones, Beyond Eyes is a decently fun time once, maybe even twice. The dressing here is you're just a kid who went blind due to an accident, standing too close to a fireworks show of all things. But yeah, you're blind now. Eventually there's some neighborhood cat that shows up to her house a lot and she likes the cat. It's largely her only decent friend since she went blind. One day the cat just never shows up again. So you, a little girl that can't see shit, decides to go find her. This is a task made easier by the fact that actually we literally can see, as long as we have been there before. So as you slowly explore the maze, you slowly uncover more of the environment that you have been to before, making it easier to find the path you need to be on to advance to the next stage. The game actually does throw a few curveballs at you. The player character, yeah I don't remember her name, but she's scared of crows. Sometimes you encounter dogs barking at you, which will impede your progress. Even at times there will be these big ass pelicans or something that you will encounter, so there are obstacles that you need to either lure away or sometimes they will go away on their own after exploring another area. There's even a couple times where sometimes you need to explore something you've already explored because something that was blocking your way is now gone. There's even a busy highway that will naturally get you killed if you don't use the walking signal to cross. But yeah, you're in a maze trying to find your cat across multiple stages, and this is the only walking simulator that finally makes sense to be moving so slowly as far as I know, because you're blind. That's it. Go play Beyond Eyes.